nobody really feels like that you need their validation, right? To go off and be great. Like you need their pink slip or something. Okay. Something about that. Somebody is crazy as hell here. Okay. So let's hop in and get a prayer. Beloved ancestors, be your guys to the most high God. I come Archangel Michael for protection. Anybody sending anything physically, mentally, emotionally, or spiritually, please block and blind them. I call back our energy and send theirs back with full forgiveness to the universe. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the most high God. So yeah, meanwhile, we we got some people here that, you know, they, they kind of upset because you do things your way, right? Okay. Two plus two makes four just like three plus one makes four and your way seems to be working very well for you right okay maybe you're not traditional maybe you do things a little different you know maybe you are vision goddess with the little purple hat on and the damn and the damn feather in it okay and you know that that's what makes you feel good because see i was last uh, last night i was told man you just you need to take off that hat. You I, you're just so weird. Why you do why you do this? You know somebody just trying to rip me apart. Okay, but ultimately, guys, let me just tell you something. That's how somebody feels about their self. Okay, but they want to project their negative ass feelings on you. Listen, I need you to go deal with your trauma and quit trying to come over here with it. Cause see, I dealt with my trauma already. That's why a bitch like me can walk out with my hat on, okay, and my leather pants on and my boots and my cute little shirt and my leather jacket and be comfortable, okay? I'm just saying. Maybe it could be your style, too, that bothers somebody because you feel comfortable in what you do, right? Well, hello, hello. <clears throat> so let's hop in this. Let's see what's going on here. Somebody's definitely in their feelings. Ooh, I'm hearing the reason they're in their feelings because you keep catching on to what they're sent to do. Okay. All right. I knew there was something behind this. Okay, listen now. Because you ain't boo-boo the fool. Hey, hey. What's going on? Look at all these new faces. Thank y'all for joining me. Goddess of the moon. Y'all know the goddess of the moon. She has her weird way of doing things anyways, okay? And it works for her, okay? I mean, listen now. Because, see, you made a decision to walk away. And now you uh, financial con uh, constraints is in reverse, right? Y'all look at the goddess of the moon, okay? Look, she's got her face painted. She's got this damn beautiful dress on. Okay, look at her. Just, I mean, you know, for a moment, okay? She loves herself. You might look at her like she's a damn weirdo, but she loves who she is. And there could be somebody over here saying, well, why do you like them for it? What, I mean, what, what is it so special about them? And these are the qualities that somebody loves about you, right? Because you really could care less. You know, it is what it is. All right, let's say, let's get some tarot here and see what we got. Somebody's butt hurt here, okay? And collective, I'm gonna be honest. There could be somebody asking you right now. I don't know why you like vision goddess for. She's so weird. She blah, blah, blah. She's this, she's right. You see what I'm saying? This is what somebody's saying. Maybe, you know, it's you and your, your people. You know, your soul tribe. Somebody's like, why are y'all always dealing with them for? You know, blah, whatever, you know. And you're like, because you know what? This is my motherfucking rider. She is. Tell me about the goddess of the moon. Oh, because what did I just say? You're somebody's two of cups. Okay. I, I mean, I can't make this shit up. Love. Somebody loves your ass just how you are, and they don't want you to change. Judgment in reverse. Okay. Tell me about their decisions already made. Okay. Yes, yeah, somebody here. Mm hmm. There's no more interference here. Well, thank 
you, um, HJ, I appreciate that. That just means that my authentic light has definitely got your attention and we may, we're going somewhere, okay? That's the whole thing. <clears throat> There you go. That's exactly right. King of Pentacles. Now somebody wants to come and invest in your weird ass, okay? 88. Hmm. But, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, tell me about this uh, walking away. Yeah, somebody's definitely walking away from something here. Okay, and you know, whatever it is, family, lovers, friends, uh, a belief system, you know, whatever the case may be, right? The hermit. Why did I just say the hermit? The higher find in reverse, okay? Because somebody here is a liar. Baby, listen now. <clears throat> somebody wants to come bring you your flowers, okay? Y'all see? Somebody wants to come bring you your flowers over here. <sighs> Let's talk about it. Tell me about the higher final reverse walking away. Because all I'm saying is if you if you go on, if you gonna try to look, I just said the hermit. Yeah, okay. Gain it, nine of pentacles. Okay. You could have Virgo in your chart, or this could be a Virgo, right? Or this is a, 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 an investigator who's seen why you walked away because somebody was lying on you, and you sitting over here saying, I don't got to deal with it. Family, lovers, friends, whatever. You're like, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? And then you got the Page of Pentacles here. Now somebody wants to come in, okay? And somebody's like a bull in a china shop. I'm going to be honest here. Because you're walking away. And you don't care. You spoke your truth and you're leaving it. What I say last night, we're going to stop giving people warnings. Okay? We're going to stop telling them anything and just keep focused. Tell me about these financial constraints in reverse. Yep, the devil. See, you, you detached yourself from this devil here because it had a hold to your money. Or, you know, just uh, just everything overall in your life. Physically, financially, uh, emotionally, spiritually, all of that. You know what I'm saying? Tell me about the devil in reverse. Yeah, it was a change here, baby. Okay? There's a message coming through here. Tell me about this message. That's coming. Or this temperance. Or this what this is what somebody's gonna say within the next uh, forty eight hours? Like, listen, I ha I had to leave that behind. You know, I I'm not dealing with this, this, and this, right? Nine of cups. Yeah, somebody coming in to let you know that they're that you're actually their true happiness. They're ten of cups, as I was saying. Okay, baby, listen now. Yeah, this cruelty is over with, guys, okay? Tell me about the goddess of the moon, the love, the judgment in reverse, the just cruelty in reverse. Somebody here is sticking up for you as well, right? And, yeah, with the Wheel of Fortune, listen, baby, this is this right here is faded events that are happening. Somebody's sticking up for you and saying, you know what? You may not like them, but I love them, and I want to be in their life. I don't care what you have to say. And y'all, this could have been an issue in the past, right? Somebody listened to all the wrong people and you moved on and, you know, you uh, stepped in your goddess energy and did what you need to do, right? And now somebody's spinning a block and coming back and saying, damn, hold on. Yeah, okay, but you got people out there doing that. You hear me? Aries Tarot, yes, you do. You got people out there sticking up for you, okay? Because they see the strength, okay? 
that we have out here and we keep persevering baby somebody trying to figure out where the fuck we're getting this strength from the most high god our beloved ancestors we're trusting in the message that we get we're trusting in the dreams that we have y'all like i was saying earlier in my reading it's like confirmation it's like when I go to sleep at night and y'all just elaborate and y'all just let me know how you feel about this, right? And if y'all y'all go through this, it's like I, I, I go to sleep and I check out the matrix, right? Okay, clock out. When I close my eyes, I clock into the spiritual realm and I go see the director, which is the most high God. He's got my assignment for me. This is, this is what I need for you to do, vision goddess. Okay, I get my assignment. I wake up and... Y'all know I'm always talking about a dream I had or something I seen or something, right? And it's like, the next day, I wake up and I know what I have to do. Is that how you guys feel? Because that's how I feel. It's like being the hermit, the spiritual investigator, right? When I go to sleep, I get the messages in the spiritual realm, okay? Being the hermit here, because... I'm already at peace. I'm already tapped in. You know, I'm already living the correct way and I'm being obedient, right? Okay, with your dreams, put a cup of water beside your bed. Put some clear corpse in your pillowcase, some rose corpse. Something about an amethyst as well. Or you could do a bowl of salt water and put it up under your bed for protection as well. Light a white candle, call on Archangel Michael, ask him to protect you in your dream state, okay, as well. There is multiple things that you can do. And something about, do you got a dream catcher in your room? Intuition? Yes, pay attention to it. Because, see, if you got a dream catcher, okay, because I was going to say, make sure the only time that you want to use a dream catcher is um, for your uh, children, okay? That is a form of protection for your babies. You put that dream catcher over their bed, especially if you're a spiritual practitioner and you work in, you know, and you have spirit, uh, spiritual business, things like that. But I mean, even besides that, right. Put a dream catcher in your baby's bedrooms over their bed. So it can protect their dreams. Okay. So nobody can try to hurt them or harm them. Mm-hmm. All right, tell me about somebody making a decision. Okay, the Eight of Swords in reverse and the King of Pentacles here. The lovers, y'all, I'm telling you, this is a, a divine counterpart. This is a divine union. And I've been pulling on this shit for the past, like, week or so now. These divine... Uh, listen now, Seven of Wands, baby. Somebody coming on through, Okay. These divine counterparts are coming together here. And see, Seven of Pentacles, somebody could be coming in and feeling like a failure, right? But that's where you come in, collective. You uplift people. You don't rip them down. You don't tear them down. You uplift them, you know. Uh, give them them loving messages that they need, but also give them the message that they need to hear as well. But bring it with a loving way, right? Uh, because trust me, if somebody's ready to receive it, they will. If they get triggered, then you know they ain't ready to receive it, okay? Think about somebody coming in in this Seven of Pentacles energy. Yeah, because you want to know why they feel like you're going to reject them. With this Page of Cups offer, like somebody feels like you're going to reject them, but that's not the case, right? One, two, three. You're not going to reject them. You're just like, listen, this is my boundaries here, okay? And this is what I'm going to do and this is what I'm not going to do, okay? Let's just be clear, right? Because I'm not here for your good time, for this pleasure, okay? 
I'm not here just uh, for pleasure. I'm here, and I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Okay, something about that. Somebody needs to be careful. Because somebody's only here for a good time, not a long time. You better know it, baby. I don't know, something about that. We got this uh, King of Cups here, okay, that's rushing in, that's trying to have balance. Tell me about this King of Cups that's rushing in to this goddess of the moon. Ten of Swords, baby, ba honey, this person's coming up out of backstab, betrayal, lies, being defeated, okay? Yeah, there's some uh, injustice here going on, justice in reverse. Okay, and collective, you already know this though. That's why I said somebody's coming in and they're they're the wounded warrior here. Okay, and it's because the cherry card. What I say coming in, somebody is rushing in here. They're moving toward you. Um, they already know what they're ha what they gonna have to do. See, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I'm going to tell you something. Because somebody was taking care, taking, ooh, somebody was taking care of somebody, okay, over here. And uh, they're finding out that's the only reason somebody was dealing with them was for their finances. And now they're at peace because they know what, what's, what the real deal is here. Thank you, babies. And now somebody here can't be sneaky. I heard somebody see. It. Look, the star card. They coming toward their star. They're at peace with their star. That, and see, this person right here finding out something. Look, completion of a cycle. It's a, it's a completion of a cycle with somebody. I'm going to be honest with you. Somebody, it was like real probably hot sex in the beginning with this person. It was all passionate. And now somebody's sitting here and they're like, okay, but you, you don't do nothing. I have to do all the work, right? And when this person don't get what they want, they talk that shit, they make somebody feel like they're a failure, they ain't doing this, you can't take care of me correctly, you can't provide for me for correctly. And this motherfucker sitting over here looking and saying, bitch, you work me like a mule, what are you doing? I've been working like a fucking mule here. Feminine and masculine, right? We all energy here. Somebody's like, bitch, won't you go get you a job? Won't you pay some bills? Won't you do something? Won't you ask me how my day was? Why ain't there dinner cooked here? What are we doing? You be here all day long. I've been gone 12 hours. You ain't, you just now getting the fuck up. What you been doing all day? Um, what I'm getting is this is what somebody was coming up out of. And now somebody's happy as fuck. They're like, man, I'm so glad I'm away from you. I'm so glad. Or this could have been you, Collective. You could have been like shit. Because let me tell y'all something. When I first started running my business, I was working from home, cooking, cleaning, okay, making lunches, doing laundry, all of this shit, right? Didn't, didn't skip a beat. You feel me? And still running my own business from home. I'm just saying. Somebody here can't hold a candle to, to, the, to the goddess of the moon. Because she knows how to do everything. Because she was given no other choice, no other option. When you've been that single parent, you automatically jump into that masculine mode, Right? And you know that you have to provide, and it is what it is. There is somebody that was dealing with somebody here. They don't understand how to jump into masculine mode and get shit done, right? Because they always been taken care of, got handouts, and shit like this, right? Tell me about that. I'm, I'm interested in this higher fun in reverse over here.
Yeah, a Queen of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. This is in reverse. Y'all, somebody here with heavy earth in their chart. Or this is just somebody in this Queen of Pentacles energy, real greedy, like, right? Yeah. Uh, this is... Mm. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. The Hierophant in reverse. Something about work as well could have been lying on somebody. And somebody walked away. Somebody could have walked out of their job, bro. I'm going to be honest. Confirmation. Somebody could have walked out of their job because some greedy-ass Queen of Pentacles in reverse was doing some shit. Trying to get them fired. Okay? As well. I heard messing with their hours and shit. Short on their paycheck. Y'all see how I keep smashing that coffee. Somebody was dealing with somebody was thirsty as fuck here. I'm glad I got my water, okay, y'all? Yes, it is. Yep, that's 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 it, Eric's tarot. See the how the look, you got the high priestess, okay? Here. And somebody's worried because they know the high priestess knows that they lied here, okay? You already know. Yeah, be careful. She a thief. Look, as I said, that Ace of Swords, she's fucking lying, sis. See, this is what I'm saying here. You are the High Priestess Collective. You are the Goddess of the Moon. You know somebody full of shit. You already know. You already know what's happening here. You know somebody getting played like Boo Boo the Fool. And you could have tried to warn them, okay? And now somebody's sitting in a bad, bad situation. And they sit over here saying, man, what's up? Five, five, five. Thank you for the donation. And there's a change. Okay. Listen now, babies. Tell me about this ace of swords in reverse. The worry uh, about the, uh, mm, okay. Because see, let me tell you something. Somebody's abundance is about to be in reverse here. Because they know that you know what the fuck is going on. And see, that's the problem, Collective. We can lead the, the horse to water, but we can't make them drink it, right? Because, you know, in the past, a motherfucker thought you was jealous and you was being a hater and you this and this, you that. And the whole time, bitch, you just the high priestess and you know whenever shit ain't right, okay? Listen, if I see that that sky is turning a little purple, I'm going to tell your ass, okay? Listen, I'm, I'm not finna sugarcoat it for you. Because you want to know why, Collective? You don't have your emotions involved, especially if you a seer like me. Man, all three of my eyes is activated. Fuck you talking about. I see through somebody's bullshit before they even open their fucking mouth, bro. I can read your fucking energy like a champion, okay? I know your fucking intentions. Y'all, I'm going to tell you something. I met somebody, right, a couple years ago. And this person walked in and it was like this darkness was wrapped around her. And the first thing that I said to this person was, what are you into? I said, because you in trouble. I said, what are you running from? Y'all, it was like all her shit was just painted on her, right? All over her energy. It was just darkness everywhere. I could feel it. I could see it. Y'all, I started making my stomach hurt. Instantly, I started burning sage in the house, okay, to cleanse the energy because the energy was so bad. And I was like, okay, what the fuck? I'm just telling you. Uh, and y'all, I'm this, and you could have encountered somebody like this, right? They know that you got true psychic abilities. They know you know who you are, okay? So now somebody had to work 10 times harder to make you look like shit, like you wasn't shit, right? But you just moseyed on down the road because you don't give a fuck what people think. Didn't Ain't that how we started off this reading? I don't need your validation, sis or bro. I don't. Okay, now listen.
your fiance is very, very gifted like you. It's like whenever your fiance met that person right there, Jess, he already knew. I heard she had thief written on the on her forehead. He got some real. He he's got he's really tapped in too. He he can see it. He could even possibly see how she stole from somebody in the past or something about that. I don't know. I heard the elderly something about that. Cause see, somebody knows you the truth with the Queen of Swords. They know that you see through the 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 fuckery and the bullshit here. Tell me about this uh, Queen of Swords and being in this Queen of Swords energy here. You can be any sign, y'all. Don't get caught up on the signs. Five of Wands. What did I tell y'all? I'm telling you. I can, when I encounter people, I can t I can feel it. Everything else, okay? I already know when something ain't right. Y'all, like earlier, okay, I was going down my timeline on Facebook, right? And this man talking about how his baby mama and his child is missing, right? Instantly, it was something wrong with what he was saying. And I felt it. I felt it, y'all. I feel like this woman took her child and got the fuck away because he was doing something to her. And guess what? Now she's back on drugs and his child is in danger and this is happening, that's happening. Y'all don't believe that in my heart and my soul. And y'all know when I talk about things like this, my I'm fucking right on point. It's a lie. It is a fucking lie. It's something about that man. Like, I, I just seen it in his eyes. You know, the eyes to the soul. I was like, mm -mm, no. You lie to the world. Because just not even two weeks before that, not even a week and a half, y'all, before that, this man was on social media talking about how you help your baby's mother, you help them rise up, you help them do this. And now, to a week and a half later, two weeks, she's done took the child and she's drunk out on drugs again and she's done this. Come on now, hold on. What's going on here? See, that's why, man... People be using social media like, uh, you know, that's their something ain't right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Rob, your situation's different. This man right here was really, really deceptive. I didn't like it. That this man, he's lying. He used to beat up on that woman and everything else. Y'all, I seen the fights between them and everything. As soon as I looked at his picture, I seen it. I was like, oh, man, hold on. No, mm -mm. it wasn't right. Instantly. I I just, yeah. My nose, y'all know, listen now, listen. That's what I'm telling you. Y'all, and you know what? Y'all know where this woman and this child is? They signed into a woman batter shelter. She got the fuck away from him. And she got her child away from him. And now, he's on the search to try to find her. Rob, he was dealing with a black widow. She just evil as fuck. But yeah, um, I feel like this woman went and signed herself into a battered woman shelter, okay, with that child, because there's something going on. He said it's just mad because I know he slept with her behind my back and why she's sleeping now. Okay, listen, Aries Tarot, she's so dumb, she don't even know that you know.
And see, look, okay, while I'm stopping and answering uh, everybody's questions, y'all, it was a distraction, right? With this young woman. Because this man's paying her to be this unfit parent and everything else, but he's really the narcissistic uh, woman beater, right? Because everybody don't know what he was doing behind the scenes to her. And she went for it and she got a visitation with the child and she motherfucking left. Thank you, Rob. Nope, I, I appreciate that. No, man, listen, your baby mama's just, she's one of them psychopaths, man. She wants to control everything. Um, the apple don't fall far from the tree. Okay, Rob? This bitch don't even know how to spell co-parent. She's one of them bitter baby mamas. Well, if you can't be with me, you can't see the child type ass. You know what I'm saying? That's that's that dumb and dumb ass shit that these that these uh damn crazy ass people be doing. Listen, I want my baby daddy and his new wife to come get the kids, take them shopping, take them on trips. Cause bitch, I need some time alone. Okay, I need some me time. Okay, listen. So I can, if I want to, I can lay in the bathtub and mind my business while out the fucking kids banging on the door, sitting in the bathroom floor playing with Barbies, okay? And and their little he man, because that's how it used to be, right? When my, when my little kids was young. They'd be in there. I'm in there trying to run a bath and honey, uh, they bring in the dollhouse in there and uh the Superman and we don't go in here, we're gonna play cars, you know what I'm saying? Mama's in the bathtub, but we're gonna go with her, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Listen, mama wants to be in the bathroom by herself. You know, and it's like, uh, no, we need to learn to co-parent. I need you and your girlfriend or whoever the fuck you're dealing with. As long as y'all ain't in this low vibrational energy and toxic and shit, come get the kids. Take them out. Go to Chuck E. Cheese. Go to the park, bitch. Listen, when y'all getting married, can I buy you a cake for your reception? What kind of dress you looking at? Okay, listen, what are we doing here? I ain't the one that's going to be no hater, okay? No. Because we need to set an example for these children, right? And let them know. <laughs> right, I'm, t I'm trying to go out. Maybe I want to get laid, okay? Come get your kids so I can get laid over the weekend. Because, you know, you got a new relationship. Maybe I'm trying to get one, okay? Maybe I'm trying to jump off the dresser on Saturday without the kids being at the door talking about they need a Capri Sun, bitch, and some Teddy Grahams, okay? Listen. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Um, but somebody here is a hater because they don't <laughs> they do not want you guys to have any of this. Okay, how do I block her out? Do a cut cording meditation with her love. I'm just saying, y'all. Listen, you got people that's out here. They they don't want you to go and have a good time. They can go fuck the whole city and have 15 girlfriends, boyfriends, and you're supposed to sit there and be crying in your tea because they left you. And it's like, uh, no, listen, I got you, I got your little son or your little daughter uh over here packed up. Listen. They, they're right here, okay? I just need you to come pick them up and um, do what needs to be done, okay? Because, listen, mama got plans tonight. Mama, daddy going out, okay? We want to relax. Even if, bitch, I, I got on my robe, okay, my, my little ugly pajamas and my bonbons and my coffee, and I'm going to sit here and watch reruns of Sex in the City. You know what I'm saying? Why is it now? Take a child and go and go love them. Go have a good time with them. Y'all, it's a change coming. I'm I'm serious, man. I be feeling y'all's energy. And you know what I'm saying? Being a single parent hard than a motherfucker, because I've been there. I know what it's like, man. And you know, and then the the worst part is is whenever 
you know, they call and they say that they're not coming and you still lying for the other parent. Y'all did that so much, man, whenever my little, my little kids was younger. I always had to protect the other parent. You know what I'm saying? It's like, because I didn't want to break the kid's heart. I'm like, you know, daddy had to work. Knowing the whole time he was out here, you know, uh, Valley getting, you know, around with some some young thing, okay? They wasn't even old enough to even uh, get into the damn pool hall. Okay, listen now. I don't know whose story I'm telling right now. It, but it's true, though. And then you got you got to be the one to explain to the child why daddy or mama's not there. You know what I'm saying? And you are making excuses for this child in in, in some senses because you don't want to sound like the old bitter baby mama or daddy saying, you know, your daddy's just a piece of shit when really that's what you're thinking about the whole time in your head. Like, listen. <laughs> you said, okay, you said for moms that have no support. Let me tell you something. Uh, baby, that's that neighbor that's that play sister you got. That's that that best friend that's gonna start being your um, your support system. If you ain't got no family, you'd be surprised who will help you with them children and who'll be there. You know, like uh, at one point in time, y'all vision guys and goddess didn't have no car, no license, okay? And my home girl, her, me and her son went to school. They went to the same school, right? And she said we would walk every morning six blocks to the the school bus. And my home girl, I walked up one day, and y'all was pouring down rain. And she was like, "Come on, come on!" We walked all the way in the rain to get there. And uh, she says, "Sis, why?" Why, you know, I'll just come by and get him in the morning. She said, you can't be doing this. I said, well, sis, I ain't got no other choice. You know what I'm saying? Like, my baby got to come to school. So, rain, sleet, or snow, we walking, okay? And um, it's people like that that come in your life. You know what I'm saying? And you know what, y'all? I want to give a shout-out to her. Her name is Samantha. Uh, and she's actually just graduated, and she is going to be a social worker um, for our community. And uh, y'all, she she's a beautiful soul, okay? And uh, let me say, my bitch fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? It was it was so many things, and see, and that helped me also too because since she was picking my son up, I could get to work earlier because I'd have to ride the bus. I'd go put him on the bus, and then I, then I, I'd walk him all the way to his bus, and then I would go and stand at the mca right there and go get on the bus and go to work myself and um i'd always be late so they changed my schedule at work you know so let me tell you something there's avenues out there that you can get baby you got this you just got to you know what that is it's ego and pride you don't want to ask because you feel like that you're going to be a burden on somebody let me tell you something you you would you would be surprised that how many people would step up and say, yeah, I'll take care of the babies while you go to work. Yeah, I'll take care of the kids. I'll bring the kids over here. They might be one of your friend's grandmothers. You know what I'm saying? Anything, like, it's going to be people you really, really are surprised with, okay? Oh, yeah. All right, y'all, I'll be right back, okay? And then we'll get started with the uh, mini rings. Y'all just let me know, okay? <laughs> 